Taliban fighters marching through the streets, dressed in all white, the color of the Taliban's flag, and a symbol they're ready for martyrdom. <laughs> While outside the last remaining U.S. base at Kabul airport, chaos continues. This is what crowds have to face to get inside. Shooting, violence, Taliban whips. American troops worry if they open the gates, people will flood in. There's desperation and anguish. Marines confirm the baby handed to them over a wall is now safe at the airport, reunited with family. Inside the base, U.S. troops play with the many children arriving, trying to keep them calm as Afghans are processed for departure and moved to the flight line. That's where we met Gina Abawi, an Afghan-American from Virginia. She moved back to Afghanistan to teach six years ago when it was much safer. It was a dream come true for me. I built a little house by the mountains and it was really cool. And it's the saddest day of my life right now. I just cannot imagine leaving, but unfortunately, it's time to go. You left. Obviously, the house. Everything, 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 everything. A small little suitcase with my laptop, and that's it. She says she doesn't want to leave. Neither do the 25 members of her extended family going with her. We're just looking up at the Afghan flag. I don't know how much longer it's going to be there, but this is really sad. I don't know if I'm going to be back. I'm hoping, but I don't know if I'll ever be back. Eventually, the C-17 arrives and taxis into position for boarding. For Gina, it sinks in. This is it. These are moments that change the trajectories of families for generations. Gina's relatives say goodbye to the only home they've ever known, forced out because they don't want to live under the Taliban. Finally, boarding time. For Gina, it's a painful goodbye. For most of the Afghans on board, this is the start of their new lives as refugees. This was supposed to be only an evacuation of American citizens and Afghans who worked with U.S. troops. But because of the chaos now in Kabul and people rushing the gates, it's become an emergency airlift of refugees as well. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.